up, world? It's your boy Bilal Elamine. Thought I'd come bless the world with a few words of wisdom today. Uh, we really don't have a set script on what I want to talk about, man. Just to start out, be real, man. Come to y'all, just you know, tell y'all what's on my mind, how I'm feeling. Uh, right, right down, man. I've been kind of played down, man. Been, been down in the dumps, man, because of I'm having this burning desire, man. You know, deep in my chest, man, and in my mind, just for success, man. Like, <clears throat> now when I sit back, man, I look at my current situation, man. I'm 24 years old, don't have a college degree, still in school, you know, keep that in, you know, still in school, uh, you know, in my fourth or fifth college, though. <laughs> but, uh, you know, just at, at the age of 24, you know, going into 25 here in the month of April, man, I just, I just thought I'd be somewhere totally different. You know, and at this point in my life, man, I'm just not really satisfied where I'm at. I mean, don't get me wrong, I got a, I got a great job, a decent job, you know, it pays okay, you know, great benefits package and 401ks and all that good stuff. And, you know, it's probably a place that I could probably retire from, you know, but it's not me. It's not really what I want to do. Don't get me wrong. I like my job. I'm grateful for the opportunity. You know, I'm blessed that they pay for my education, but at the same time, you know, I'm a people person. I, I really want to be out here, you know, touching people, changing life, speaking to people, uh, motivating people, you know, just helping people, you know, be the best that they can be because I want to be the best that I can be, <clears throat> which is why I'm doing this because, you know, I, I would like to become a motivational speaker and uh, just be able to motivate people on the daily, man, because what a lot of people, man, especially African-American people, we lack is motivation, not because we just lack it, but because a lot of times we never had somebody tell us that it was possible or the only motivation that we seen or, or that we knew about was negative motivation. But, I mean, you know, it's so much more I heard to life, man. And I just I just want to become everything that I know I'm capable of becoming and, you know, help all those around me and, and those that, you know, listen to me and watch my videos, you know, help them see that it's possible and they can they can do it too, man. And, you know, I'm not in a position right now where I'm where I want to be, but... <clears throat> You know, daily I'm striving to get to that spot. You know, I'm, I'm studying things, I'm reading books, I'm starting up my own projects to experiment just to get some some experience and some expertise behind it. And, you know, just uh, I encourage you guys to do the same, man. Just if you ain't satisfied with where you're at, man, just understand you got the power to change your circumstances, man. And, and the change of circumstances, man, it just, it just starts with the first thing you got to do is you got to set a goal. The second thing you got to do is, you know, you got to be prepared to do it mentally. And then the third thing you got to do is you just got to do it, you know. So that's my worries on that, man, just kind of where I'm at in my life. And if you at this same spot, man, and maybe, you know, you'll keep tuning in and watch me and we can, you know, overcome our obstacles together and, uh, you know, reach our goals together. Uh <clears throat> The second thing I want to talk about is mistakes and overcoming them. You know, everybody makes mistakes in life, man. I've made a million. I've made a ton. Some I, I made last week that I'm regretting today. Some I made five years ago that I regret today, man. But, you know, as Les Brown says, you know, if you fall down, hope that you fall on your back. Because if you look up, if you can look up, you can get up, man. And, you know, I feel like I've been on my back for a long time, man, just in limbo. You know, just trying to figure out what it is I wanted to do, what it is I wanted to be. You know, really just trying to find my new passion, you know, after football. Because I thought football was life. And, you know, after that, it was gone and, and over with, man. I just, I was in going in circles, man. Didn't know what I really wanted to do. You know, and I just want people to know that, you know, you make mistakes in life. And, uh, you know, you have hard times and you fall, you know, on your back and sometimes flat on your face. But, man, if you can roll over, if you can get up, if you can look up, man, you can get up, man. So, you know, a mistake is only temporary. You know, if you're willing to do something about it and change it. And then this mistake is only permanent if you just accept it and let it be and, and just, you know, say forget it. So, man, you know, everybody's made mistakes. Everybody's done something they wish they couldn't do. But just know, man, that you do have the power to, you know, change it and make some positive out of it if you wish to. Uh, that's about it, man. Like I said, I, I don't really want to go by a script, man. I kind of want to be as real as possible. And uh, I think I'm going to end this blog, this short blog, just with a, leaving off with a quote, man. And uh, somebody I've really been following real close, man, for probably about the past 30 to 60 days is uh, 
my new mentor, man, somebody who I would definitely like to follow in their uh, footsteps is Les Brown. Man makes thirty thousand dollars an hour. Like, come on, I'm I'm trying to get there, trying to get to that level. But uh, a quote that he said, you know, that I've really been a, uh, you know. It's really stuck with me, man, because I want to be prepared so when an opportunity does come and someone says, hey, B, you know, I got $30,000 for you to come speak at this event, or I got, you know, $10,000, or forget it, I got $25, man, I just want you to come speak to my little youth group over here. You know, I want to make sure I, I'm encouraging and, and being real and got something positive to leave them with. So a quote that I'm going to leave off with by Les Brown says, it is better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. So with that said, man, I mean, everybody who who was waiting on an opportunity saying, man, if somebody just give me a shot, if somebody just give me a break, man, make sure that you putting your whole self in, whatever it is that you want to do, and you perfecting your craft, man. So when that opportunity and that shot does come, you know, you, you're willing and you're able to, to take full grasp of that opportunity and make the most of it. You know, you don't want to be someone who says, look, man, I'll finally give you a shot, and you're not prepared. You, you don't know what to do and you go up and make a fool of, of yourself. So, hey man, perfect your craft, be prepared for any opportunity that may take you to the next level. Allow LME signing off. Hope you guys come check me back out here soon. Uh, God is good, man, and I uh, wish everyone out there the best, and uh, God bless. Have a great day.